Chapter 2. Debt Relief Scams. Synopsis. The heist is the upfront fee you pay to have the company talk terms with leaders, which commonly does not occur. So not only are you out the fee, but your debts have amassed more interest and penalties. Hang on to your cash. The long, thick recession and its aftermath have produced an environment in which debt reduction scams and debt relief scams prosper. With millions in money trouble, charge card debt is a bigger issue than ever. Vulturous debt relief companies promising serenity are seeking out individuals drowning in debt. However, with financial discipline and effort, individuals may stay away from even the alleged legitimate debt reduction services. Debt Reducing Booby Traps Paying back existing debts with more debt is a common maneuver of companies hawking debt-reducing services. Additional debt reduction services will offer to talk terms with your creditors to arrange a payback for under what you owe. In a lot of cases, simply taking your upfront fee is all that counts, not really reducing your debt. And one thing they won't explain to you is that paying less than you owe presents on your credit report as failure to pay off your debt in full, which plays havoc on your credit score. Debt Easing in Disguise The financial marauders sell themselves as legitimate companies with the power to help consumers overpowered by charge card debt is no secret. The Los Angeles Times describes that investigators for the Government Accountability Office acted as distressed consumers looking for help from debt management companies. Devising wild exaggerations of their success rates, a few companies promised savings of as much as one-half. Debt-reducing fake promises After paying up big upfront fees to debt management companies, frequently running up to $1,000, many consumers wind up deeper in debt than they were previously. One woman in North Carolina fell for the sales pitch from a debt relief company that she would maintain enough with lower interest rates to settle charge cards, a mortgage, and an auto loan five times faster. After paying $599 up front, she was promised that interest rate savings would make up for the fee inside the first 30 days on her way to a complete savings of $2,500. The FTC sued the firm after they declined to refund the $599 fee after neglecting to deliver on those promises. A Basic Debt Relief Ruse Laying claim as government approval is a basic angle engaged by debt relief scam artists nowadays. The Los Angeles Times reported that statements made by debt management companies to GAO researchers, as well as their advertisements, show the firm's attempt leading people to believe they're administrators of a government plan related to the bank bailout. One business that surfaces at the top of search engine rankings for debt relief names itself the Federal Debt Relief Program. A more less-than-honest scam is the U.S. National Debt Relief Plan. Debt Relief, DIY. There are hundreds of debt reduction and debt relief companies invading the net, but there's no government-backed charge card debt relief plan. Debt relief in these disruptive times has become a big industry co-opted by shysters capitalizing on desperate people. Getting on a spending budget that lets you pay your bills promptly and pay down your debt is nonetheless the most beneficial route to debt relief. Negotiating greater terms or lower payments and refinancing car or house loans are actions you are able to take yourself. Debt management advice, free of charge. For assistance with debt troubles, the National Foundation for Credit Counseling is a great place to begin. Anyone who requires free and confidential advice about debt relief may get it from this nonprofit-making community group. The NFCC provides consulting in person or by telephone. To find a counselor in your community, go to nfcc.org.